Hi, I'm Glyph. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Lycan, a simple Scuttlebutt client application I've written using Rust. Lycan features an email inbox-like user interface and functions as a Scuttlebutt reader application. It allows a user to subscribe to peers they're interested in and then read the posts those peers have published. Posts can be marked as read or unread and may also be deleted. This simple application has been written in idiomatic Rust, to the best of my ability, and is intended to demonstrate the basics of creating a Scuttlebutt client application. The primary purpose of the application is to serve as an instructional aid for a tutorial series I've been developing around it. I really hope the tutorial series will lower the barrier of entry for Scuttlebutt development, and that it will empower others to build Scuttlebutt applications for themselves, their friends, and their communities. Let's take a look at the application in action, and then I can explain a little bit about how it works. So this is Lycan, it's a web application, and the interface might look fairly familiar in terms of being similar to uh, an email client or maybe an RSS reader. So we have a list of peers down the left-hand side. These are all the peers I follow and how many unread posts each one has. And I can click on one of these peers to see the posts that they've created. Uh, Lycan doesn't show any replies. It just shows root posts made by the peers we subscribe to. And by clicking on one of these, I can read the text. And in some of these, you'll notice there's markdown formatting that's come from the client in which this post was authored. And at this stage for Lycan, because I wanted to keep it as simple as possible, I've chosen not to render this as HTML. It's just straight up markdown. And yeah, so we could mark messages as read or unread, and we can also delete messages. As well as that, if we wanted to subscribe to a peer, we would paste the public key in this input box and subscribe. And so it is a bit difficult to see there, but Skybend is the peer that we've subscribed to. And we can see that they have 230 unread posts. These are posts that are now in our local database. Uh, and finally, we have a way of downloading the latest peers, excuse me, the latest posts from these peers. So we can sort of sync the latest messages. And there's obviously a little bug there because this message went from unread to read. So that's exciting. And to explain a little bit about how this works, so we have a, scutt a scuttlebutt node running in the background. Um, I'm using go sbot as my node. And Lycan is using the Golgi RPC library, which is written in Rust, to interact with that sbot. So this is great from an application developer standpoint in terms of not needing to really deal with the nitty gritty of replication and the append only log and a lot of the complication and complexity that comes with the lower levels of the scuttlebutt stack. So instead we run the sbot, let it do its job, and then we can call methods against it like to find out if a peer is following another peer, uh, to initiate follows and unfollows, and to create a stream of messages for a particular peer. Then what Lycan does is it has its own database, a key value store, which it uses to maintain a list of peers we are subscribed to, as well as the data of the posts for those peers. And finally, of course, there's a web application, a web server, which is serving HTML templates and some CSS. So, so you probably noticed the interface is a little bit jumpy when we click around. There's actually no JavaScript in this application. So you could fairly easily add a layer of unobstructive JavaScript on top of this to keep things a little smoother. So if you'd like to learn more about Lycan, um, you could head over to my website, Mycelial Technology. And if you go to the projects page, 
you'll find under the active projects like it. And that will take you to the Git repo, which will which has the full code for the application uh, and also some more information about how it's designed, what features it has, and what technology it's using. And if you look in the introductory paragraph, you'll find a link to the tutorial series I've been writing. So this will really step you through the code of how to create this application. And the first one should be released today and I'll release one new installment a week. From here on out, there should be approximately eight or nine installments in total. Thanks very much for watching and I'm really looking forward to hearing some feedback. Take care. Bye.